everybody, how's it going? I went to the church, uh, Cancer Women's Auxiliary, uh, yard, uh, garage sale, and I picked up this little doll, well, she's not little, she's 22 inches, I think, 24 inches, this beautiful doll for $4. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my god, I just can't believe it. So, I think she's absolutely stunning. Her, her, her details and her dress. For four dollars. I, you know, like, she's just absolutely beautiful doll. I haven't looked on who makes her yet or any information. Yet. Oh, I touched her. <laughs> there we go. No, no, she's just, she's beautiful. So that's, uh, I got this Chinese or Japanese doll as well, Geisha. Girl at the garage sale too. For four dollars as well. Um, I think she's like 19 inches, I think, 18 inches. She's really beautiful. She got a little Japanese sign. And it was for the something Growers Corporation. Of beautiful no it's she's just stunning and silk Japanese geisha girl I gotta find a glass cabinet big enough to put her in both those dolls so they don't get ruined but for her sure I need to put her under glass somehow She's just stunning. I got this cute little tic-tac-toe garden garden um, game. And then, isn't that cute? You can play outside, a little garden. Tic-tac-toe game. A couple of the bunnies are missing their ears, but I can I can make ears out of the clay. That's no problem. But aren't they cute? <laughs> and then little carrot pots. Not cute. Cute little game. So yeah, you can play tic-tac-toe in the garden. I thought, thought that was cute. And it's sitting on the table I bought. I got for five dollars a round table. So I'm gonna put that for the dolls and get little chairs so they can sit around it. nice table with it there as well I got this really nice bottle of perfume I'm not for very much money it smells really good it's a nice bottle it's full that bottle of perfume for a couple of dollars. That's a really nice bottle too. I got this stainless steel cheese
reader. Thank you, Big Bob. I got this. Isn't that pretty? It's nice. I got these leg warmers for Evangeline or April. They could wear in the winter time to keep them warm. Maybe even me. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I got this coffee mug for free. I like to have a big co I like to have a big mug of coffee in the morning. So I got that for free. I got this collector's item, Saskatchewan. Uh, <laughs> uh, memorabilia of Jimmy Flynn, Flynn party hat. So I got that. And it's signed in the back. So it's signed on the back as well. I have to look that up. But I got it for me because um, to keep the sun off my head. <laughs> so I got that. I got this slow cooker uh, crock thingy that goes inside the slow cooker with the lid because I broke my lid. And it's always good to have a, a second one around because sometimes you need to make a couple batches of stuff so it's good to have a, another container to go and that way you can make two and then keep one in the fridge so i got that replacement so i got that i got this beautiful mosaic tile uh, glass tile frame it's big enough to go in to the bathroom in one of my small windows so it's gonna fit in my bathroom window and then the sun will go in behind it and it'll look absolutely beautiful I just have to fix the hook but that's okay I can put something there and hook it the chain but isn't that beautiful I love it it's a nice frame for the for the bathroom window hello everybody it's morning. I I started this process last night, but I was getting a little tired and it's getting a little dark. So here we go. I bought also this bag. I don't hope I'm not sure if it says backwards. This is be courage courageous. Be courageous. It's one of those only places left uncrowded. Courageousness. Be courageous. And this is a body shop bag. It's pretty much bad, brand new. And I got it for a dollar at the garage sale. So I got that. And then I got some books. Okay, so I have some really interesting books. That I'm like awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one first. This is National Geographic's In the Footsteps of Jesus. So, <laughs> Chronicle of His Life and the Origins of Christianity. Uh, so I'm gonna be reading this. I, I got it, like, I love the pictures. Let me see if I can find you some. Like the ruins and stuff. like. Aren't those beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to be reading a lot about that and the paintings and stuff like that. Isn't aren't those just absolutely gorgeous? So yeah, I got that book. I wish I wish it wasn't so wrinkly, you know, because I try to keep my books and the jackets pretty safe. So I got that. I got this fun book. I got this fun book, The Book of Bizarre Truths. And it's like, it has like, just everything in it. Like, I was reading last night with my flashlight, because I have a little flashlight. Tales on the Napoleon, um, 
women who cross-dressed in the 1700s pretending to be men. It was like, it was the most, it was like really um, interesting. Search of Immortality, the Sega, Sega of the Hatfields and the McCoys, the shocking death of Wilma Kilmer, uh, the real Sherlock Holmes, how to turn yourself into a witch. <laughs> it just like, it just like, eight famous people that die in the bathroom. Well, we know all the, the first famous one was Elvis Presley. And then it says Lenny Bruce, uh, El Garbalas, I can't expel, read that. Robert Prostinoli, Orville Redenbacher. Orville Redenbacher died in the bathroom? Wow. Uh, Claude Franciscus, Albert Durker, Jim Morrison. Isn't that cool? And then Buried Alive. Death is a so like that. Being buried alive. Uh, so yeah. It's like it's pretty neat book. So I've been I was reading that last night and it's like I wish I could find hang on for a second. Uh like where cross dressing came from. Like when I find it I'll read it to you guys. But this is the tale of the book of bizarre truths. Like everything in here is real, it's just bizarre stuff. It's pretty cool. And then I got this one because I have fibromyalgia and I saw this so I picked it up. So it says fibromyalgia and chronic myofascial pain syndrome. So I've had it for since I was in my uh, 20s, 1920 it started. So that was good reading. It's an older book, it's from the 90s, so uh, lots of things have changed since, since then, but, but it's a good reading to read. Okay, on to the next thing. Okay, so I got, I found this book, Star Wars New Essential Guide to Characters, an update of The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and the new Jedi Order. Okay, I don't have the new movies from what's out right now, but I have the old collection. I have those. And I think I have the Star Wars one, uh, the very first one I think I have. So like the remix, like the renew of number one uh, when he was young. Uh, so when he was a boy, so but I don't have the new ones, so I have to get those uh, either on DVD or Blu-ray. I don't care what either one. I got to get those ones. So I got this, and so I'm a Star Wars fan. I saw Star Wars when it first came out in 1977, when my teacher took us to the movie. Like I was in a special in a special class. And it was very small. I think there was only like maybe 10 of us in there or nine of us in there. I can't remember. It was very small. And he took us to see the movie. So it has all the characters. Let's see if we can find some. Like, look at that artwork. Isn't it neat? Isn't that nice? And these guys, it tells, tells you about the character. So yeah, I just wish it wasn't all bent and stuff. There's Yoda, my favorite is Yoda. Yep. So I won't, I won't have the new, I won't have the you, the new one in there. I don't think it has a new baby Yoda in there. Cause I think that one is a new movie, right? So I don't have that one. 
but yeah so i got this to add to my star wars collection and then okay now they have a box of toys i went through everything uh this box had a bunch of little legos in it so i'm gonna take it out of the box put it in the tupperware i have for legos so this there was this is a pixies pixie light i don't know i have to take it out and put batteries in and see what it does but i think these are lights so i got that it's like a dollar for a little box two bucks i got this little speaker thing i don't know if it works or whatever but i don't even know how to open it <laughs> to change the batteries so it's got to be like I don't know a speaker of some sort so I got that that was in the box I got these cute little shovels for the kids for the dolls for role play um there was these little plastic little military men in there tiny little things I got some of those uh I got some wiring for dollhouse lights. So I got some wire. I got this little notepad, little horsey notepad in there with an eraser. That's that's cute. I got this little pound puppy or pet thing. <laughs> it's so cute. There's a little puppy in there. Oh, that's so cute for the little toys. So that goes with, I'm gonna put that in there. With those little toys. Um, I got a pair of Barbie pants. A pair of jeans, Barbie pants, jeans. I got one boot. And one shoe. So I don't know if anybody has <laughs> one shoe or one boot like this but if you do let me know and I can send these to you if you want them um I got uh, a My Little Pony that'll go in there with the twins okay I got this little Barbie bag I'm gonna keep this and the jeans, I think. It's got a laptop. Isn't that cute? I don't know if it opens. I didn't try it. Oh, it does. So cool. It's got a laptop. Book bag, I guess. Uh, a book. Diary. What else is in here? <laughs> Oh, another book, a little pink book. Oh, this is kind of cool. And a cell phone, maybe? Isn't that cool? Oh, it opens. Yeah, it is. It's a cell phone. That is so cool. I've got to be gentle with that. So, I'll probably keep this. I'll probably keep this book bag. I have one Barbie. It's not a Barbie, but it's like Belle, I think it is. So I may keep that for her. I got this. I don't know what this is. This, oh, it's a top. Okay. Must go with the jeans. It's kind of messed up right now. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's a top. So that goes with the jeans. So I'd probably keep it and she'll have a change of outfit if I ever get a Barbie. But yeah, the shoes, I mean, you can't do, you can't do much with one shoe and <laughs> one boot, but I mean, if you have one like this and if you don't want it, my address is in my about section or 
or if you have one and you really want the boot and you really want the shoe, you just let me know in this video. If you have it, I'll send it to you. Um, I think this goes with the puppy. I think. This little house. I don't know. I don't know what this is. But I think it goes with the house. Dog house. I think that's what that is. For the puppy. I got this for the boys. It's a... Uh, Fisher Price, so this will be with my Fisher Price collection. I got this sand thing necklace, and I got this necklace. So these are for Evangeline. Those are for her. I'm gonna give her those. Ah, oh, okay. And you guys know my place was robbed and I lost a lot of my old cookie cutters. Well, this is what's in the box. Star, like these are these ones, the hard stainless. You can't buy these anymore. And mine were stolen out of the bell. Uh, Christmas bell for sugar cookies. And the Santa. And then there's a candy cane and plastic, a heart, and a little gingerman stamp. So these will go in my baking. I'll wash these and put them in my baking. And then, oh, I don't know what that is. So anyways, and then I got a bunch of hot, really nice Hot Wheel cars. These ones are pretty cool. They're not very old. These ones are plastic, so these one, this, this one's not very old. This one is vintage. It's like the metal. This one is really old black bottom okay. this one's pretty cool alligator sort of like a Batman car it's plastic the ones with the metal re wheels and stuff are that's these are ones that are pretty nice and then this one's pretty cool cat car metal bottom I think that one's from the 80s and then yeah and then we get back into the newer stuff this is a like a machine robot kind of car transformer car isn't that cool and then this little pole beetle car. And then I found this little magnet and I don't know. Down by the sea. Put that on my fridge. So that's what I got in this pile. Okay, now this. This is stuff that I played with when I was a kid. And I was born in the 60s. So this would be 70s toys. This is what I played with when I was a kid in the 70s. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, I've gone through some of the boxes, some of the box, so I only found one lid, but these are vintage <laughs> Pyrex and the gold. So yeah, I got those, the lid's a little broken. But I found that. And the Travis tray. So, okay. <laughs> just, yeah. I am like, oh, yes. Uh, 
This is cool. The toaster. See the bread? You pull it down and you pop the button. Whoop. <laughs> and the toast comes out. That's so cool. Yeah, I got that. Do you remember this? Old fashioned iron from the 60s, 50s. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. Yeah, I had that vintage toy. Like these I'm keeping for sure. Some of them I don't think I'm gonna keep. Um, silverware drawer, organizer. Oh, okay, I got found these. Little copper pots. That's gonna be for um, April's stove, her kitty cat stove. I'm gonna use those for her stove. Like some of the stuff is gonna go for her her kitchen. Um, some of these you guys will recognize. Some of these are, I think this one is from the Easy Bake Oven. Some of these, if you had an easy bake oven, I think that's what these were were for the cakes. If you had an easy bake oven, I had a holly hobby, holly holly hobby oven. And this little pan, cookie pan, cookie sheet, not nice. Can you see the markings still on there? So I think that's what they were from, the Easy Bake Ovens. Okay, so there's some red dishes, red pans. Little, this doesn't, doesn't have the handle on it anymore. But little cup. Little pots. There's a lid for it. The handle's broken. Here's a muffin tray. Whoops. I want to be careful because I don't want to break any of this. Here's a bigger one. So put that there. Put that on the tray. Look at this, guys. Little bottles. Little bottle washer. Little babies. <laughs> For little dolls. Are, they, are those just adorable? Got a little, pers little person. Napkin holder. The vintage baby bottle. Got teeth all over it. Somebody was chewing that, a dog or something. <laughs> Look at little beater. The handle's gone, but isn't that cute? Oh, this I found. This is gonna go in my kitchen. It's an instant coffee measure. That's gonna go in my kitchen at Vintage. Rolling pin, rolling pin, and the cute. A little thermos. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> oh, this is Vintage. Orangey thing, squeezer. A little horse. Here's some pink stuff. Oh. Oh. A rubber ball. Oh, I, I remember these things. A red cup. So 
some measuring spoons. <laughs> Look at that dish, dish rack, a Coke bottle. These are cute. These are cute. Little cup. Those are cute. Some dish white dishes. Some plates. Another cup, which is good. I got two of those. There's this little this little serving platter. That's cute too, eh? There's a, there we go. I don't know if it goes together, but there's that one. There's a bunch of other things in here. There's a top of something. No, oh, another little bottle. Look at this one. The end is off, but I can, I can fix that. Make a little pie plate. Another pie plate. <laughs> Remember these? Oh my God, these are so cute. Sweet potatoes. Oh, sliced peaches. That's what those are. Little doggy cookie cutter. <laughs> here's, here's the silverware. <clears throat> Another little pan, metal pan. Another doll. This looks like the disappearing milk bottle. Remember when we were kids? That one. That's cool. There's another tray top. The little glasses. Measuring cup. Ah! <laughs> the silverware is so cute. They go in the silverware tray. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. Oh, it's stacked, but that's okay. Look, a little squeezer. <laughs> Poor chop. <laughs> Poor chop. Oh, look at this little bike. Oh my goodness, look at that little bike. I wonder what that's from. Look at that. I was gonna go to my vintage toys. There's some more little containers. I'm gonna have fun playing with that stuff. <laughs> Cheese cutter. <laughs> An egg. A fried egg. Oh, there's some little stuff in here. Oh my god, look at this one. Oh my god, look at this one metal one. There's a metal kitty cat cutter. Oh, these are so vintage, it's not funny. Uh, this is not funny how how vintage that is. Not sure what that is. I'm trying to find some good stuff in there. Milk, milk old milk bottle. Some more red dishes. Oh, little sheep. Ah. Hey, little sheep.
I like the food. The peas. I got peas. This is vintage. <clears throat> this is actually farm stuff from compliments of your fuller dealer, <laughs> tractor dealer, <laughs> egg separator for the wife. <laughs> Husband gets a tractor, the wife gets an egg yolk separator. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's so cool. I like that. So I found the lids to the bins. Okay, so that's that's good. The bins are there. Here's a lid. There's a half of the egg cup. I know there's another half of it in here. A little orange. A little tree cutter. Oh. bale of hay to go with the sheep or this could be bread too I don't know <laughs> but there's a bunch of stuff low stuff in here so there's a yellow turkey <laughs> oh look golden egg so there's a bunch of stuff in here I'm gonna go through I'm gonna go through it and, uh, oh, here's some more of these little doodads. Okay. Okay. Well, these are vintage for sure. Copper. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to have fun going through all this stuff and cleaning it up. And, uh, oh my goodness. Bubble burger. Oh my god. Do you guys remember those? Oh my goodness. Do you remember those bubble burgers? The bubble gum that looked like hamburgers? Oh my goodness. Something was in here. But look at the case. Do you remember those hamburgers? And they were bubble gum? Do you remember those? Bubble burger. I remember all those memories coming back. And see, I had this stuff when I was little. But we moved so much, I wasn't able to keep my toys. I have very little from my childhood. I have a book that I cherish from my teacher that took us to the Star Wars in 1977. That's that's how far back I have that book. And it's signed by him, best student of the month. If he worked hard every month, somebody got something. So anyways, thank you for watching my my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed everything. And until next time, bye.